a joint German-Italian program, its leaders were Dr. Richard Mieter and Professor Giuseppe Belluzzo, a senior scientist under the Mussolini regime. Their design was again a flying saucer and was very similar to a post-war design created by a British engineer, suggesting some post-war cooperation in the early Cold War period, which we will return to presently. Regarding actual evidence of what I've outlined so far, we have the testimonies of many involved, but of course they could be lying. Design drawings from all three projects do exist from World War II, as well as some other documents of the period, including one listing thrust figures and other technical data that have been derived from physical tests. We leave you tonight with a new search for answers to that age-old question. Is anyone out there? Well, an uptick in UFO sightings from credible witnesses has suddenly got Washington's attention. As CTV's Richard Madden reports, some of the strange sightings were caught on tape. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. A close encounter spotted by a U.S. Air Force pilot off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Shot in 2015, this video is among the growing number of UFO sightings in recent years. So much, the U.S. military gave a classified briefing on Capitol Hill last week titled, Threats to the Safety and Security of Our Aviators. One of the key takeaways I'd have is that the, um, uh, the military and others are taking this issue seriously, which I think in previous generations may not have been the case. Even U.S. President Donald Trump weighed in. I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. The fighter pilot who saw this object first thought it was a drone, but then noticed it had no visible engine and was faster than anything he's ever seen. But that was one of the most amazing things to us, or at least to me, was that these objects would be out there all day, uh, and it's the speeds that they're exhibiting, as well as the flight characteristics. Uh, there's no platform or really an energy source that I'm aware of that could allow something to stay in the air uh, as long as these objects were. And it's not just confined to the U.S. Nearly a thousand Canadians reported UFO sightings last year alone. Most were chalked up to low-flying planes, drones, or a simple mistake, but not all of them. Out of the thousand or so sightings a year, about 5% remain unexplained. Yes, and that 5% doesn't automatically mean spaceships. It simply means these are cases that are a little more puzzling than usual and they need a little more investigation, and some of them just never do get explained. The unexplained skeptics believe could all be secret military testing on classified missions. It's probably <laughs> one part of the military not telling the other part, other part of the military what they're up to for a good reason. But those fighter pilots say that's not how it works and are urging further investigation, believing the truth is out there.